YouTubers Nikki and Dan Filippi have sparked major backlash on the internet after announcing that they had put down their family dog after it bit their child. The part though that has everyone collectively yelling why is the videos that they made announcing their decision to do this. I'm going to get into all of the responses from the internet in a moment, but first if you could do us a big favor and please tap that like button, we would really appreciate it. And with that out of the way, let's begin. Recently two popular YouTubers Nikki and Dan Filippi shared some very heart-wrenching news. They announced that they had made the decision to euthanize their nine-year-old bull terrier Bowser. However, the problem that everyone is having is that there was nothing actually wrong with Bowser. He was not sick, he was not in pain, nor was he suffering from some terminal disease. Nikki and Dan decided to end his life because he bit the couple's one-year-old son named Logan, which they say happened after the toddler tried to take some food from the dog. Nikki also posted a photo of herself with the dog smiling and hugging Bowser, yet captioned it with, I'm so grateful for our time with you. You were a mini horse, a shark, a bear, a mouse, a dinosaur, and Dan's best friend all in one. You made me laugh laugh, you made me cry, you destroyed our property, and you also kept it safe. LOL. You kept me feeling safe. Bowser was the ultimate cuddle bug, but you wouldn't necessarily know that if you just dropped by our house. He just acted crazy. Well, Bowser had an aggressive side that reared its ugly head a few times over the years, and recently he bit Logan. After a lot of counsel, we decided it was time for Bowser to pass peacefully on. I know a lot of you will be shocked to hear this. My brain is still shocked. McTrazen has been part of our life and content his entire life. And for the last nine years, I'm sure you can imagine, I'm not kidding when I say this was one of the saddest days in my life. That being said, I'm so grateful we get to hold him and kiss him in our home while he passed. I will be uploading a video tonight with more of the story if you want to know. We will miss you forever, Bowser. However, that seemingly heartfelt goodbye was not met with any sympathy. Most of her comments were people saying things like, some dogs can't live with kids, but that doesn't mean they shouldn't be allowed to live. With others adding, shame on you. There's definitely more options than just putting your dog down for this. And I mean, they're not wrong. Taking your dog to a shelter so that they can be adopted by someone else that can actually manage the dog seems like an easy decision. In their video, Dan describes what led up to the breaking point decision, saying, For many, many years, for most of his life, he was an extremely dangerous animal outside the walls of my house. He was definitely an outside animal that I had to keep inside. Then Refinery29 actually reported that the couple claimed Bowser was attacked as a puppy and as a result became aggressive. Dan goes on to say, We could have put Bowser down a really, really long time ago and several times and have just been putting the day off. He has seriously injured a couple different dogs. The incident with their son, though, was one of many. The couple stated that their son had previously hurt the dog's ear and after their son reached for the dog's food, Bowser bit Logan in the face. Dan did admit that it wasn't that bad and that their son was healing. However, he still has a little mark on his face and regardless of the dog simply acting in defense of his food, the damage was already done. They also claimed that the Humane Society said they would not rehome the dog after that incident and that what they eventually would go on to do was the only option. The part to me that is just unsettling though is the little goodbye photo shoot that they did with the dog and Twitter was in agreement echoing how terrible this was to post. Even Jacqueline Hill commented on the situation saying, I have a very temperamental dog. He bites people when he feels nervous, unsafe, or if you try to touch him when he doesn't want to be, I know these things because I I'm his owner. Therefore, I make sure he's not in situations where he will react. I don't kill him. I guess the real moral of the story is that if you're going to do something like this, maybe don't share it with the internet. You can't share every moment of your life and be shocked when somebody gets angry at something you posted. Either way though, we would love to hear your thoughts on this whole situation. And while you leave us a comment down below, I'm going to check out some of your comments from the video titled Chrissy Teigen calls out Ben Affleck for a creepy video. Orlando Wright says, Chrissy should be the last person talking about creepy online behavior. Facts. That's a fax, that's a full fax machine. Andy Sai says, the girl who got matched with Matt has recently been kicked off of the Raya service for breach of privacy and rightfully so. I mean, it seems weird that she would get kicked off of Raya when he sent her a video through Instagram, I believe, that he sent it. He slid into her Instagram DMs. I, I don't know. Seems strange. Brie Thomas says, she's by far one of the creepiest celebrities, so I guess she's an expert on the topic. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Happy Mama says, the term David Dobrik has been approved on Urban Dictionary. Congratulations. That's actually awesome. Yours says, she left because of the negativity, but rejoined for cancel culture. Yeah, I don't, it seems strange to me that she was like, I hate all this negative energy on this platform, and then she just jumped back into being negative. It doesn't make any sense, but none of this makes sense right now because we're getting locked down. We're locked down because of COVID, right? So nothing makes sense right now. But either way, guys, that has been today's video. I've been your host, Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy, YouTube. Stay sane, actually.